Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to install Epic Games Launcher on Steam Deck running on SteamOS. Some viewers told me that my old method of installing Epic Games was not working on the latest SteamOS build. So I decided to make a new tutorial video. My Steam Deck is running on SteamOS version 3.5.1 preview build. We all know about Epic Games, gives away PC games for free every week and also features many exclusive PC titles. So first thing first, make sure you have downloaded the latest version of G Proton compatibility layer. You can download it from ProtonUp QT app. This app is available on Discover Store for absolutely free. At the moment, I am using G Proton version 8-20. New version should be available. Just click on Add version here. Make sure Steam Deck is connected to the internet. Yeah, there is the new version 8-21. Select it from here. Just select the latest version. Then click on Install. Wait for the installation to complete. Depends on your internet connection. As you can see from here, installation started almost there there you go i'll just delete the older versions free up some space select the version and then click on remove selected we are done here click on close next make sure you have downloaded proton tricks application it's available on discover store for free using it we'll be easily able to find the name of the compart data folder corresponding to epic games this is steam is running in desktop mode just open any browser and go to epic games website i'll drop its link in the description from here just click on this bar download epic games launcher download will start i have already downloaded it once the download is complete open dolphin file explorer go to downloads here there's the file that we just downloaded epic installer it has a dot msi format now just open steam go to library click on add a game click on add a non steam game then click on browse here click on downloads here Click on the bar adjacent to filter, then click on all files, search for the epic installer, there it is, .msi format, open, make sure it's checked, click on add selected programs, look for it in your steam library, and there it is, and just select it, then click on the settings cog here, then click on properties, shortcut from here, I'll just change its name. I'll set its name to Epic Games. There you go. Then click on compatibility. Check this setting. Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. As you can see, I have selected the latest version of G Proton. Click on play. Installer should start. Just click on install here. Wait for the installation to complete. that's it now here's the tricky part what i am going to do next is set the target location of epic games installer to epic games launcher that we just installed first we need to find out the name of compart data folder corresponding to epic games for this purpose i'll just open proton tricks and there you go this is the name of epic games compart data folder it's a big number ends with three to seven easiest way to remember it just to be clear, this is the name of compart data folder corresponding to Epic Games. In my case, it's not going to be the same for every Steam Deck user. As it's a non-Steam application, just use Proton Tricks to find its name in your case. Now we just need to open the compart data directory and find this folder. Now just open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on Home here. Then click on Dot Local. Open it. Open Share folder. Open Steam folder open steam apps folder from here there it is then open compile data folder here we need to look for the folder named this ends with 3 to 7 start from the end there it is open it then open the pfx folder open drive c folder open program files x86 folder Open Epic Games folder, open Launcher folder, open Portal folder, open Pinedrace folder, open Win32 folder and then we need to add this exe file to our Steam library epicgameslauncher.exe I'll just specify this directory in the target location of Epic Games installer so go back to Steam, select Epic Games click on the settings cog here, click on properties target, just click on browse here change this target home dot local expand share 
look for steam there it is expand it expand steam apps expand compare data 3 to 7 expand it expand pfx expand drive c expand program files x86 expand epic games expand launcher expand portal expand binaries expand win32 there's epic games launcher.exe file select it click on open this is why i showed you its directory using dolphin file explorer first now we just need to add double inverted commas at the start and at the end of the target location right here here you go and this is the end again at the double inverted comma that's it close it click on play epic launcher should start it started latest version will be downloaded update complete just sign into your epic games account enter your credentials and we are in i'll just install a game okay this prompt popped up need to install epic online services just click on ok now it will be installed automatically there you go epic online services was installed you can disable epic games notification via the launcher settings quickly show you this click on the profile icon here then click on settings scroll down uncheck these options show free game notifications and show news and special offers notification this is optional i'll show you how to access your game library just click on library here i'll install a small game celeste search for the game here click on title there's the game click on install you can install the game on either internal storage or sd card c type stands for the internal storage this location is actually present in the compound data directory of epic games i'll just install the game on my sd card first just open dolphin file explorer click on your sd card here i'll create a folder and name it as epic games folder epic there you go it's empty go back to epic games click on browse expand my computer double click in my case d drive has been allotted to my sd card double click there's the epic folder double click select it click on open and click on install installation started size is around 857 mb only installation should complete soon installation complete just close epic launcher now i'll be assigning a controller layout to epic games just select it in your steam library then click on the controller icon here okay so select template from here go to templates i'm using this template gamepad with mouse trackpad apply the layout press the x key go to edit layout go to trackpads here select the bar adjacent to right trackpad click then go to mouse and select left mouse click and that's it now i'll be showing you how to add artwork for epic we'll be using boiler application here i'm assuming you have already configured boiler if you haven't already done it yet i'll drop the link to the video showing the entire process in the description of this video you can download boiler for free from discover store there it is just click on this icon here import your games into steam make sure deck is connected to internet wait for the process to complete downloading images done importing games close everything just run steam in gaming mode now there you go artwork for epic game store has been loaded up if you want to change its compatibility layer just go to properties here there's the compatibility section using this compatibility layer start epic games there you go it started just go to library select your game launch if you want to uninstall it just click on the three dots here and select the option to uninstall yeah we are in dreamverse performance tab set to overlay level to 2 frame rate and refresh rate limit set to 60 you can even use dreamers fsr yeah it works with epic games as well won't be using for this game xbox controller prompts 
Yeah, Steam Deck controls are working. Yeah, there is a character. Now, if you are wondering where the shader cache and save files for the Epic Games are located, they are present in the Compound Data directory corresponding to Epic Games that I showed you earlier. This ends our tutorial video. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.